All right, I have some props because my normal audience is kindergarten and fourth graders. So I hope to keep your attention. Good evening. My name is Jolene Lee, and I'm a widow with six children. When I was invited to speak at this event, I thought, well, after giving a eulogy at my late husband's memorial service, everything else seems easy. But it hasn't been an easy journey, not by a long shot. Cancer took my husband, Nate Lee, from us in March of 2019. He was the father of my six children, partner for 30 years, and husband for 25. Just like you, my family was and continues to be everything to me. To have an organization like Kesem to support my family following a cancer diagnosis and through treatment and loss has simply been tremendous. My daughters, Lauren and Lucy, and my son, Andre, are here with me tonight. Lauren, who is by my side, attended camp for the first time five years ago, and this summer will be a camp counselor. In fact, I think attending a UW chapter of Camp Kesem helped her to feel even more strongly about wanting to be a Badger. Yay, Bucky. <laughs> now completing her freshman year at UW-Madison. I'm so proud of you, Lauren. Kesem's reach is far and deep. I really can't say enough good things about the organization, the postcards, the birthday cards, the thinking of you cards sent to each child with personal messages, not just a Xerox card sent to our family, but with personal things written to each of the kids. It's amazing. The emails, the offers to help, the reminders that the Kesson family was there for us definitely made a difference during our darkest days. At a time when our life was upside down and the fun was sucked from our lives, there was Kesson. How can you not feel happy when you look at that mascot caterpillar? The week-long camp just, it was tremendous. The kids were refreshed after attending and made many good friends. My husband and I were able to recharge during that week of the summer, knowing our children were in good hands. For the three years of Nate's treatment and battle and beyond, camp had a very positive impact on our family. I also connected with other parents who were affected by cancer. Those friendships have grown for us all. It is so nice to be with people tonight who have become very special to us. It truly is a network of love and support. And the t-shirts got worn a lot. My youngest pretty much only wore Kesem t-shirts to school for about two years. <laughs> a network of love and support is vital during a cancer battle. I remember the myriad of negative emotions that accompanied my husband's diagnosis with pancreatic cancer. It was a time of tremendous stress and fear. I was in disbelief that a father of six could be stricken with such a terrible disease. I am grateful that there was Kesem then and the support for families continues to grow. It is needed. I remember naively thinking that if I showed a picture of our large family to my husband's renowned surgeon, he would realize that this new cancer patient simply had to be saved, if only. But we all know that cancer does not discriminate. And so even though he was a father of six, Evan, Andre, Lauren, Lucy, Oliver, and Isaac's dad was taken from us. After losing our beloved Nate, I was left with a void that many of you understand all too well. It was an ocean of sadness and pain. Channeling that into something beautiful was my mission. As now a family of seven with our Nate in heaven, we knew we needed to work at healing. Finishing our basement and recreating spaces in our home was part of that. As if our house were a snow globe, we picked up furniture and rearranged and redecorated. The children are now aged 21, 18, 16, 14, 12, and 10 and had outgrown the miniature child-sized chairs in the basement of our home. Doing something fun and creative with them felt right. 
I had a vision to paint each one differently, representing the style of a famous artist. I knew that Nate would approve and appreciate the chairs being morphed into teaching tools. He loved art and had always wholeheartedly supported my passion for art education. We had, after all, met in an art class at UW-Madison. And so the painting began. One at a time, I painted and cried, painted some more, cried some more, and found comfort in the results. And some of the chairs are here tonight. When my UW college roommate, Beth Johnson, inquired about promoting the little chairs, I was touched. And so the display of the chairs at Kismet Books in Verona was born in an effort to honor Nate. While painting, I had hoped that the series could raise money to help others affected by cancer. It will bring me much joy if indeed the chairs help to raise funds for Kesem. The chair project kind of took on a life of its own, I'm not gonna lie as painting filled a void for me on weekends without a partner. I would watch movies and paint as if Nate was with me. I ended up painting not only the miniature chairs, but other pieces of furniture as well. The last time I counted, the series had reached 33 pieces. As I worked, I took delight in figuring out how to best represent the famous artist's most well-known works on the furniture. It is an honor to have the pieces bringing awareness to Kesem. The chairs are also rotating through my elementary art classroom in Northern Illinois at the K through four building where I teach art. It's a little school called Avon Center School in Round Lake Beach, Illinois. My students are sweet and complimentary, telling me often, Mrs. Lee, your chairs are so cool. The art itself is a universal language. I am hoping that the appeal of the chairs and my story touches people and they feel compelled to donate to Kesem. The chairs are not for sale, but hopefully will act as an avenue of awareness, understanding, and monetary support for Kesem. And I have come to realize through the love and support of many that there is life after cancer and loss. My new significant other, Mark Favish, is videotaping this event for us tonight. Thanks, Mark. And I'm happy to share that on most days, my children are doing well. Those of you who are parents will understand that most days qualifier. In conclusion, I really can't thank this tremendous organization enough for what they have done for our family. It is a privilege to get to share our story. Just as the chairs were transformed from plain wood to highly decorated, our family has been touched by the beauty, colors, friendship, and love of Kesem. Thank you for the magic. Hi, I am Lauren Lee, otherwise known as Kiwi. I am the third of my parents' six children. I remember using these chairs as a young girl I was in middle school and my dad was diagnosed with cancer, and that was when I attended my first week of camp and can testify to the truly magical feeling of being surrounded by a such, such a fun, supportive, understanding group of kids and counselors. My siblings and I continued to go to camp, and in it we found a place where we weren't alone in our struggle. We were surrounded by others who just understood. A few years later, after experiencing the unthinkable passing of my dad, I remember feeling such warmth and comfort at the sight of Kesem counselors at his memorial service. The grieving process is different for all, but something common to all is that we miss those we have lost. We have missed their presence, their conversations, their advice, and encouragement. We want to see them and experience life together. I often think about my dad and wonder what he would think of the person I have become. Would he be overjoyed that I am in college with his alma mater? Would he scold me for hanging out at the Memorial Union Terrace for too long instead of studying? Or think that I have chosen the right major? There are many questions that can't be answered, yet the one I can almost say for certain is that I know he would be immensely proud of me for continuing my involvement with Kesem and being a counselor. I also know that he would adore the artwork my mom created and would absolutely want the funds raised to be donated to Kesem. These chairs that my mom painted were truly art therapy and helped her through the grieving process, and over time, the chairs were transformed in the same way that Kesem transforms lives. I feel so blessed to be a part of the Kesem family. Thank you, and Kesem loves to all. <laughs> 